What's up, sons? It's Blind Rodden with Son of a Tech once again, and joining me today is the famous Brett. Brett from UFD Tech. There you go, from UFD Tech. What's up, sons? What, what's up, sons? You use my thing. Well, I'm, I'm on. The... I'm famous. <laughs> so, welcome to Mining Rig Wars episode 22. We're going to go over all the rigs for the week, and joining me, of course, is, is UFD Tech. You can vote up in this corner right here. And you can vote for your favorite rig. That's the right corner, right? This one? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Is it this one? I always point this way. You always point that way? I always point that way, and it usually works. I could be wrong. Okay. Look up top somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> It'll pop out. Yeah, it will. So without further ado, let's get into it right after this. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. First rig is Rig A, Jesse who named the rig Jesse with their last name, which we're not going to give you guys, okay? We're protecting your identity here. You're welcome. Uh, she, she or he is rocking an Intel i7 seller on G4400 with the Asus Z270 Prime A motherboard, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 Patriot Viper memory, an A data 128 gigabyte SSD, 5 EVGA 1070 super clock, 2 EVGA 1070 Ti's, unspecified and two EVGA Supernova 1000 watt G3 power supplies. They are using a TP-Link Wi-Fi plug for remote starting and a TP-Link Ethernet over power line adapter. Rigs are in the shed is what is clarified here with a seven inch Lance Vaughn monitor. Total hash rate on ETH is 220 mega hash and on Zcash 3,400 solutions a second. So, not great picture. Uh, probably about as good as my video looks right now. Hey, that's my light. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I can't see much there. As far as I can tell you guys, it looks like an aluminum frame, right? Um, and cable man. Is that the monitor right there at the I, bottom? I can't see it, to be honest with you. And did, they, did Jesse submit that as an Intel i7 seller on? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so we copy the emails directly over. Okay. But yeah, good catch there. I want that chip. And uh, it's a Celeron. Cel okay, an i7 Celeron. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Which it's not, by the way, guys. That would be a uh, Pentium uh, G4 4400. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not <even> a <laughs> it's a Celeron. It's a Celeron. I always wonder where it gets copied from. Well, if you take the i7, you take the Celeron, put it together, Pentium. Well, in their defense, you did see that, that, that that's been going on, right? From um, Tech Yes City, you just reported on the it last week. The copyright leaks? Yeah, no, not the copyright leaks. Um, uh, scammers are buying 8,700Ks, okay. putting Celerons in there, and taking the, delitting the 8,700K oh, and putting the, the 8,700IHS oh, wow. on top of the Celerons. And then shipping it to them. So, so this it could is that be process. that. That is that processor. Okay. This is the first time we've seen it in the wild. Okay, that's amazing. There you go. I'll link that video to the Tech Yes City video. A pretty serious subject, actually. Somehow they're fully sealing it up as an 8700K, shipping it back to Amazon, and then Amazon's reselling it. That's that's yeah. nifty. That's a improper use of delitting, but actually pretty... Yeah, impressive. Uh, there a was a guy that live streamed it, and he pulled his 8700K out, and the IHS just fell off because they aren't even regluing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they aren't even regluing <laughs> it. So pretty funny stuff. Moving on to Rig B uh, by Ab. Can't pronounce it, man. Abishek. Abishek. Okay. That's how I'd say. All right. Uh, two GTX 1050 Ti's, one GTX 1066 gigabyte. A single GTX 1063 gigabyte, a single GTX 962 gigabyte, and apparently a mix of AMD FX 6300s and an AMD APU, the A6 on the FM1 platform. The motherboards are the Asus MA97. Would that be right for the 6300? I guess, yeah. yeah. Revision 2. And the Asus F1 A55M LX Plus for the a6 APU. Power supplies are the Corsair VS650, the Seasonic S2620 Bronze, and a SanDisk SSD for storage, as well as on the other rig, a Seagate 2.5 inch 320 gigabyte. Now, I was told that farms need to have 24 GPUs or more. 
Okay. But that's what people are saying. Okay, that would make sense. I guess so. We are going back to allowing more than one motherboard in their rig submissions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We're still, I'm still working on how we're going to work on that. But total hash rate is 11. Was that 1100 solutions a second? That sounds right. So here's the problem I have with this rig. Unless I, I'm wondering where they split up the 1060s and the uh, 960. I, I well. I'm assuming that the 1060s and the 1050 Ti are all, those four are on one board and okay. the 960s on the other board by itself though. Which, I mean, I don't know how many PCI Express slots the M5 has, but should be able to fit five GPUs on a single board. Like, yeah. I, I guess he just probably kitted this together from stuff he had lying around. Obviously. And and bought the, the GPU separately. Yeah. And I didn't get the picture up here for some reason. So I'll, you guys will see it. But yeah, we don't have a picture to look at. Because those are odd processors to have in a mining rig. The FX6300. I mean, those are going to draw more power than you need them to. But the 6300 is probably okay at XMR. True. But he didn't report the XMR rate. No, he so didn't. So I don't, I don't think he's using it for that purpose. Fair enough. It's all just it purpose equipment. Let us know in the comment section if you are. Rig C is Baku Kang rig. Great name. I don't even know what that means. No idea. Yeah. I, I was I was thinking uh Baku John? Yeah. The the toys at the store? No. I was thinking of the what's the fighter on Street Fighter? Oh, I have no idea. No, not on Street Fighter. Oh, the Smite character, Bakasura. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? You got the Whatever. You're on your own here. Uh, 5 GTX 1060, 6 gigabytes, a single GTX 970 WinForce edition on the ASRock Z97 Pro motherboard, a 1000 watt Silverstone PSU 80 gold, a 600 Silverstone PSU 80 bronze, 8 gigabytes of DDR3, 120 gigabytes on an SSD for storage, and then various fans which will be listed in the description below. Total hash rate is... 1800 solutions a second so the only thing i'm curious about is how what drivers you're using to get the 970 and the 1060 to play nicely together because i can never get them to play nicely together having that many gpus together no or having a nine 900 series with a thousand series in the same system yeah you've had issues mining yes okay have you no 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 none none but I've, I've only done one and one i've never done multiples okay. and then one so anytime I've done it, yeah, I could never get it going. Okay. Like, I could get it going, but the hash rates were significantly gimped on one or the other. Okay. So I just always split up 900 series with that because there's a specific driver that works better on the 900 series Yeah. for mining. Um, it looks like the method he's using is that enclosed uh, kind of, what do they call it, like a wind tunnel he's creating here. Okay. Uh, you see the box fan in the back there? Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming this probably closes off here on the front. Yeah, it looks like he might have even had to pull something to the side over here to even take this picture. It looks like there's a fabric around the yeah the i think end. it's sealed off and then i think this is just the yeah. exhaust right there yeah so that's how that is i think that's a sealed off box um my co-worker's doing this in his garage okay and today it was like 90 out yeah it hit and his cars were staying at 67 c that's fantastic while mining yeah. and it's out in the garage in yeah. the heat probably hotter in the garage than it is outside yeah but that's a good uh, good method of cooling your fan or cooling your cards without having to run it inside, by the way, guys, that people are starting to do a lot more of. Uh, rig D is Bahubali. When we had a Bahubali before, this is the second submission okay. from this uh, particular user and uh, went all out with the LEDs. Like, he pulled the UFD tech. Yep, no, that's yeah. that's the only way that mining rigs actually work, is if you put yeah, LEDs. that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that from you. Yeah, it's, it's um, the truth. So I didn't do it. Okay, well, I have 100,000 <laughs> subscribers, so. You win. <laughs> He's rocking eight Zotac GTX 1060 amp edition, six gigabyte GDDR5. I don't know why, you guys know what that is. Uh, and he's running some extensions of course they're going to be some generic crap off uh, you know from a chinese store or somewhere off amazon because you can even give us a version on those um the g4560 uh cabby lake dual core 3.5 gigahertz that's on point 
you, you get it. And that was copied from. Except from for KB Lake, it's two words. Oh, yeah. Rip. Rip. The ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus 13 PCIe motherboard. Uh, one of my favorites, except the, you know, the, the slots are too close together. So if you don't cover it in electrical tape, and nobody's told you to, you'll short out all your GPUs, but don't worry about that. That That's just a little problem with it. Well, he only has eight, so he should be able to space them out pretty I'm nicely. I'm sure he did. Yeah. Corsair Vengeance, eight gigabyte DDR4, 2400 megahertz memory, the WD Green, 120 gigabyte internal SSD, a Corsair RM series, uh, 1000 watt power supply, and a complete closed wooden frame with exhaust fans. Well. I mean, you say exhaust fans, do you also have intake fans? Because, you know, negative pressure is never good. That 1,000 watt power supply is probably going to be close to its limit. Well, it's so... It's going to be running over the max 100, efficiency curve. 120 times 8, 800, and then 8 times 2 is 160, 960, 960 plus 130 from the... Uh, yeah, that's definitely not that's, okay. That's pushing it pretty I far. I mean, what I'm thinking is that the LEDs decrease the power consumption. I've heard that as well. <laughs> okay. Let us know on Bajo Bali 2 in the comment section below. Finally, we have Rig E Station 1, Michael. Uh, and he is rocking 6 EVGA 1070 Superclock Black Editions, 2 EVGA Supernova G2 750 Watt Power Supplies, 6 Mint Cell 006C risers. There we go. Thank you. We finally got 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 risers named out here. And five Noctua 3000 RPM 120 millimeter fans, a single Corsair Commander Pro fan controller, a single ASRock H81 going old school here Pro BTC motherboard with the Celeron G1840, a Samsung Evo 250 gigabyte SSD. Two sticks of G Scale Rip Jaws memory, four gigabytes, and a single, win just the one Windows 10 Pro. I think he needs two. I think you have to have actually um, one license per two GPUs. Does that actually? So I think he needs. I think he needs three Windows 10 Pro licenses. Does that makes sense. And not pirated. It has to be bought directly from Windows, or else you can't. Yeah. Buy it. Well, and you can't buy it from Kingwin, <coughs> where it's cheap. <laughs> Don't buy it from there. Um, yeah, so <laughs> jokes aside, I he I put the wrong picture, so we're looking at one before it's built. It looks like he has a stackable frame back there, and he's very nice. I bet he's going vertical. Based on science, I would think that cools it a lot better because heat rises. Is it like less the based on science, it puts less wear on the bearings because the bearings are now having no single pressure on one side. That's fair. Okay. So like when you mount it like you so when you mount it in a case yeah. normally and you have it not horizontal and you have it like this the bearings are you know just being pulled, pulled down, down. Yeah. at the same amount so it, it wears less as soon as you mount it uh the opposite direction you start putting wear and tear on the bearing on the bottom so in theory it's going to wear out faster because it's uneven wear okay even if the cooling benefits might be there yeah it could ruin the fan yeah, the bearing just goes out. Faster. Okay, it's odd that he's using two sticks of RAM for a single motherboard. Wait, is there any advantage in that, or like, cause he's not? Do you need eight gigs for running 1070s? No, there's no need for it. Yeah, and there is so, a need for that SSD though. I always like SSDs in my new rigs. Always. <laughs> Live boot Linux and be a real man. No. Windows for life. Real man. <laughs> Windows for life. Use Linux. Guys, it works. It's so easy. You just boot it and it goes. I can't figure out Linux and who has but time then for that. But that, that also costs you like $100 more than just buying a 16 gig. No, you just download stick. the ISO off of Microsoft and active, you don't activate it. And no. There you go. No, I'm saying the actual drive itself. Oh, the drive. No, no the drive's more than worth it. Stick. No, no, it's, it's not. 100%. No, it's not worth it. Your the time it saves me in That's boot. a waste of money. The worst part is, is that a Sam, that's a Samsung Evo. It's not even like a cheap WD green. It's like I bought a Samsung Evo. Sorry, I know we're roasting you right now, but like... No, we've had we've had the best <laughs> UFD tech mining rig submissions. We've had LED lights and we've had SSDs. Yep. That's the things that so, I include in You include in yours. He even went with Noctua fans. It wasn't that's like... impressive. Let, yeah, I know. I want to see. I'll send you over the final pick. Um, 
2,680 solutions a second to wrap that up. Uh, well, th thanks for, you know, cooperating. Yeah. Uh, you want to show off what we're going to be working sure. on over here? So I'm going to be doing a review of this motherboard, which you guys probably already know about. But the announcement now is in partnership with Mr. Brett here. We are going to be giving away this motherboard, this mining motherboard, non-sponsored by Gigabyte. I want to make that very clear. This is uh, paid for out of our pockets, you not that? Uh, we'll theirs. Show the box. And Does it supports matter? how many? Two, three, 13. four, five, 13. 13 slots. 13 slots. 12, sorry, 12. 12. I'm being dumb. 12. My bad. Count them. Yeah, Two, yeah. four, six, eight, ten, Max eleven. Is 12, so. <laughs> twelve slots. Everybody. I haven't reviewed this board yet, so I don't know all the stats on it. But hey, B two fifty fintech from Gigabit, and it'll fit your favorite processor, the G forty four hundred in it. The i seven. I seven cell wrong. So there you go. You'll be able to check that out with the Gleam link in the description below. You know, uh, you'll sub to my channel and his channel and uh, and. Uh, probably follow him on twitter follow me on twitter first i want to beat him now yeah he has 80 less followers than me so we need to make sure that that stays that way no or continues to I grow in the direction how many, do you have instagram i do how many followers I do you have like 300 yes no I, yes! I i don't work on that at all how many do you have you probably like have 700 that. 750 oh, okay okay it's no. really hard to get people on instagram to like computer parts I get lucky sometimes, like when I took the picture of the memory and I was like, this memory looks really good, I can't wait to randomly access it, that one did pretty well. Okay. I think it was kind of funny. Yeah. So, that's okay. Fun. So there's the giveaway, check it out in the description, and I hope you guys don't forget to vote, and we will see you next Tuesday. Be sure to smash that like button and get subscribed to stay up to date on all of his tech related content. And go follow UFD Tech. Sub? You can if you want. Check out the content first. There you go. Cool. I told you we could do it in 20 minutes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>